Well then, my name's Mark. <laughs> my name's Tom. And it's another Saturn product review. It is another one. Yeah, a bit like the one we did 33 minutes ago. Yeah, we didn't turn the microphone on. We didn't, no. Ouch. <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, this week's show, we've it got... Is on. Uh, it is on, it is on. Four things, four things. We've got uh, Steve Pearson, Spectra Cobra Real. Uh, Nefesh's, I think that's how you pronounce the name, uh, Opus. Um, inexplicable prize draw coming up. And uh, Polarity by uh, Pablo Amari. Nice. Amari. And uh, Lucky Card. A brilliant name. <laughs> by Costa <laughs> Fantastico. Yeah, what a name, what a name. Well, what a name to live up to. I'm obviously, yeah. it's a fake name, and I'm all about performing with a fake name. Yeah, so. you never know, but anyway. If it's not a fake name, I apologise <laughs> completely. Anyway, first up. Your new toy. Yeah. Let's start with your new toy. Yeah. When it, uh, we have had these in uh, for quite a while, actually. It's just that they've come back into stock, and we've never featured it. No. And I thought, actually, I should do, because this is one of the best things that's happened in quite a while. You were very excited um, by it. Yeah. Uh, when, it, when we first got delivery, I thought, what a rubbish box, the price of this. Uh, but there's more. There's more, more, there's more, there's more. Uh, because there's that much in the box, uh, you get some Pearson's wax in black. We keep the beige one, actually, because it's skin tone, but you get uh, black, which is quite nice, because you've got extra alternatives to where you could put the wax it's Also on, kind of depends on, on the tone of your skin as well, really. Yeah. Um, you get the, a very nice the box. actual <laughs> very nice box with the main uh, Cobra in it. Uh, you get the Sidewinder thing in there and you get a um, big spool of the uh, stage line as well, which we'll come on to a little bit later on. Uh, so basically the uh, Vectra Cobra reel is a reel. Um, a lot of people are thinking, well, why should I spend £150 on a reel? Um, like the spider pens, about seventy pounds. I can't remember that one off the top of my head. So it's even like nearly double the price of that. Uh, you can get an invisible thread reel for about a tenner. Um, you can. They are actually Chinese knockoffs. Uh, when you see a dealer, uh, normally at conventions and things, or even online, if you see an invisible thread reel for ten pounds, it's not a genuine one. No. It's one that's been ripped off, and they do break, and they're very uh, constantly unreliable. Yeah. Which unfortunately then puts a lot of people off doing it. Does, yeah. Work. yeah, yeah, yeah. All we ever hear is people that say how difficult it is. Mm -hmm. and it's not something that I do, yeah. but you, we do get that a lot, don't we? Yeah, and they say, oh, I've tried it and it was rubbish. And so, well, yeah, unfortunately, you thought you were buying because they essentially look at, look the same. Yeah, of course. Um, yeah, you never but, really but they're not. You know, the rip off ones just aren't very good. Uh, then people might upgrade to a slightly better one and still have problems with thread breaking and such. Uh, we keep the iBoss by Sorcery in the Kevlar thread which used to be the strongest thread that you could get which is still quite strong yeah <laughs> still does a damn good um, job the one that um the thread that we now sell most of is the fierce and vector thread uh, which is what's on this which is he, he says you can hang a deck of cards on it in the demo uh, but i've i've tried it actually it's pretty tricky you can just about do it but you must have to be very careful yeah you wouldn't you wouldn't um, want to the stage line the vector stage line you could hang a deck of cards on because it is that bit strong and it's obviously that bit thicker and I'm sure he's included that. Well, one, because you, a lot of because people you work use it on stage. Yeah. You can use it close up as well, but for practice, this is still quite invisible. You can still use it close up in the right lighting conditions. And on film as well. Uh, film and and uh, it's a lot stronger, so you can practice with that without the frustrations of the, the stuff breaking every two minutes when you're using the uh, thinner threads. Uh, thread reels as well, by their nature, the way that normal thread reels work is when you pull, you get tension. Mm -hmm. This will work uh, with no tension at all, and it's also got a feature where you can pull out a set amount of thread and then lock it, uh, and it sort of locks. And so then when you retract it, it will retract, and then it will go back um, to that. Normal thread reels, when you let go, they straight back in. This, when you let go, will because it's not under tension when you're using it normally. You can operate it under tension with one of the switches, but normally, if you're not operating it under tension, um, you can choose when to retract it which is quite good, and you can do that in a number of ways. You get three switches with it. You do, so you um, let me explain, let me see if I get this right. You get the normal switch, which is like an on and off, like a go and stop. Yeah, there's normal You get a mercury switch. one, which is one where you can tilt it, yeah, and it kinetic can, one. And pull it back in, and you get an always on switch, so you can always use it on. under tension like a normal reel if you want to. Cool. Uh, the good thing is, is the, the plugs that you see, uh, they look like the plugs on your headphones. headphones. Yeah, so I was confused uh, what they are. Uh, and there's a, all the switches have got that kind of plug on. So you should all know, well, you should all know. If, if know. you go to Maplin's or somewhere, you can buy these plugs and wires and stuff. So you can actually make up your own switch. Yes. Uh, if you wanted a switch in another particular configuration. 
We also stopped timer switches and remote uh, controls. Remote controls as it well. is. It is like James Bond. It's ridiculous. So it does everything, and um, it's the Rolls Royce of thread reels, and it really is really really good. Yeah. The, the credit to it was when you were playing with it and you lost the end of your thread and I laughed and I thought, this is going to take you. I said I'll make some drinks and I left the room thinking that he was going to be there for ages trying mm -hmm. to find the end. Because of the way that it's ingeniously designed, you literally opened it up and went, oh, fixed it. Yeah, and it was, it was seconds, mm -hmm. wasn't it? It's the simplest of inventions that he's added to this. Oh yeah, it's almost um, like, why has this never been done before? Yeah. Um, it's brilliant. I don't do any thread work, but every reason that I've got for not doing it it's kind of stopped by this, and mm -hmm. um, Tom Wright is lecturing very next week, isn't he? So I'm mm -hmm. probably going to sit there thinking I could do this with that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it's really good, this and uh, Vectra Cobra. Yeah. That's why we stock it. It's an expensive item. Now uh, we wouldn't stock something this expensive if we didn't feel it was um, justified and worthwhile. If you want more information, I would phone Mark because this is like expanding bottles. You can talk about yeah, this but, all day, but, can't you? You should see the re review show we did before <laughs> this when we realised how many sound. It went on. Yeah. Um, so yeah, drop us a call. Don't don't speak to me about it because I honestly can't do anywhere near as much just as Mark can. Um, but yeah, it's it is well worth the money. It's an investment, but it's an investment. That I think if you work thread, you will. Or you get want a bit to? Of, yeah, yeah, or you want to? You'll be off, off on the so, right path with this. So check it out. Check it out. Okay. <laughs> right. So next we move along to the well, the next, next box here. We've got four items left, and yeah. the thing that every single one of these has in common. <laughs> is I didn't like them when I first saw them. Yeah, that's so right. Let's actually. move on yeah. to these. So let's go with this. Opus. Opus by, I think it's Nef Cash. Uh, I've never known properly how to pronounce your name, so sorry about that. I When I first saw this, I was like, why would I ever use this? Um, but I was quickly converted. converted. By the, um, first of all, by the quality. The quality alone of these is amazing. So you get one, two, three, four, five cards, um, oh, that was like a, uh, I had one, two, three, four, <laughs> five. still. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, five cards that are tough. Tough. They're plastic, they're like loyalty cards. Um, hotel key cards. Hotel, hotel key cards, that's exactly yeah, what they are. They're like hotel key cards, which means they are 100% splash proof. Right. I don't want to say waterproof in case somebody manages somehow to ruin them. Go swimming or something. But they are 100% mm -hmm. stamp stuff. But you could do these in a bar, in a table, in a beach, on sand, in gravel, mm -hmm. in mud, anywhere. They might scratch a bit, but. Yeah, the only way that you could damage these is by scratching them. The good thing about these is they could go in your wallet. Um, and when you bring them out, they're not going to be damaged. You could, you could have them in your trouser pocket all day yeah, and be absolutely fine. So not like bicycle cars that would crease up and stuff. No. So they, they would crease if you snap them in half or something. You'd, have, you'd, you'd snap them before you damage yeah. them. Right. Yeah. Good quality. Really good quality. So the, the basic routine is you produce four of them from a box, from an envelope, from your wallet, from your pocket. Envelope's very good touch. Um, so you would then hand them out to the spectators. I don't see them, but you put them in your spectators' hands. The first thing they get to do is shuffle them. shuffle them, they mix them up completely, then pass them back and you explain that obviously they can either go that way or that way. Spectator chooses if they want to flip or keep the card round, um, and then you explain, there's, you draw a box on a table basically and say there's one, two, three, four, where do you want it, do you want it one, two, three, four. They lay all the cards down, once they're down, you then pick two up and say, do you want to swap, we can swap, so you move them all around. They can change them as many times as they want basically, yeah. can't they? Um, and then, <laughs> then there's the reveal. So once, you've, once they've gone through all this and they've swapped and changed them and spun them if they wanted to, you reveal it. And the possibility of it getting right is 564? 76, seven, was it? 700. Over 500. We knew this as well. Over, over we knew this. Over 500. Um, yeah, so the chance of getting it right is, is very, very slim. You turn it over and either it's going to be right or it's going to be wrong. And what I mean by that is it's either going to be a perfect... Mona Lisa on these ones, or it's going to be a mismatched picture which isn't going to make any sense to anybody, but it so happens that you have a prediction of the mismatch of the mismatch that will match, match. perfectly, yeah. which is, to me is stronger. When I say you've got a prediction, I don't mean that you bring the prediction out of an envelope like this, and I don't mean that you go, oh, I've got a prediction, uh, uh, this one, and you've got two you have, predictions, you've you just have got one them. card, but <laughs> they turn over, it's single-sided, it doesn't... Uh, when I first saw this, I thought, oh, the trick also depends on which way around you hold this. No, no. it'll only match one way. And also, the using the, they don't give you an envelope, which is a bit of a shame. Um, 
because it would be nice to have an envelope the right size. You bring out the four cards at the beginning, leaving that one in the envelope. Yeah, so it's never uh, And you push that sort of towards them. So it's not like you've got the envelope at the end that you bring out your Yeah, pocket. it's on the table the it's whole time. It's on the table the whole time. You don't draw attention to that because you might not need it. If it's a perfect match, it's a perfect match. You, you just put the cards put back the cards in the envelope. Uh, if it's not a perfect match, then you refer them to the envelope and it's got the outcome that you've got there. How can that be? You might think thinking if there's over 500 possible permutations, well that's the very clever Very clever, very come up with. simple system for making sure that you get one of those two matches every time. Yeah. Uh, which is pretty genius. I, I've got no idea how he even sat down to even comprehend that system, to be honest. Because it- Oh, I have. Yeah, if you, if you had the, if he thought the trick for the result first, the way we think of tricks, and then work backwards, it just a, just need a good mathematic brain. But the method though is you know pretty, oh, yeah, yeah, pretty good and it's simple as well. Really, really simple. You mentioned mathematics. It's simple mathematics. Oh yeah, it's more like counting than some than uh, adding anything up. Um, do you know we speak about tricks where you learn it once, you do it once, and you go to do it again and you forgot it. That's not going to happen once no, you memorize it. It's that this. simple. Yeah, if you can take one off three or one off four or yeah. one off two, you can do the trick. Um, the other thing <laughs> I thought that. was why why would I why would that suit my persona to have the Mona Lisa? Fact is, it's a it's a internationally known. Everybody knows the Mona Lisa, so I could get away with that. One thing I would mention though is that there are companies on the internet that will print these uh, plastic cards for you. Yes, there are. So once you know the method, uh, for less than a couple of pounds each, you can get them printed. Which is which? Why why have already got designs in could, my head? You could no. have uh, if you're doing a trade show. You know, for less yeah. than ten, a bit of postage, you might have to pay for less than fifteen pounds. Uh, you're going to end up with a, um, a customised yeah. trip to suit your client. It works exactly the same way. So basically what I'm saying about this is I was amazed, amazed by the quality, mm -hmm. um, su presently surprised by the method, and I was really surprised about how well it plays when you see him do the live performances. Um, and it, is, it may not be the sort of thing that I would do at a gig, but I would definitely feel cool having those in my wallet. Mm -hmm. And being like, oh, I'll tell you what, let me show you something that's weird. Just one of them weird moments where yeah. you say, come on, you're a magician. You think, oh, here we go again. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, really, really impressed. Uh, I know you're going to have a whinge in about 30 seconds about the packaging. Yeah, so the boxes. I'm going to put those down and say, really yeah. good effect, really nicely made. You get this with it. Is it a sponge? I don't know what it is. Maybe it's an Santa's Santa's for Christmas. Do you know what? These are so hard wearing. These boxes are absolutely. absolutely. These boxes are rubbish. The absolutely. only thing it does is it stops it making a noise. Uh, it's over an inch thick, which means oh, no, it doesn't. which means it can't be posted economically. Yeah, so that, that, uh, this box costs you money. Look at this, look at this. Um, that could easily go in that size package. Do you know what I mean better? <laughs> if they put these in the envelope that you need to do the performance on the video, and then put it, and in then put it on a plastic thing. thing. Yeah, that would have been brilliant. Perfect. But no, that's too too obvious. But that side, Mark. Um, really, really impressed with that. Would recommend it to anybody as a weird oddity mm -hmm. to uh, to have in there. Yeah, it's good. It's a, is it a puzzle? Is it magic? Is it memory? Is it um, being synced with somebody? Really nice. Yeah, that's really good. Right, so now we're moving okay. on to Polarity. Polarity, right, again, I <laughs> wasn't too keen on this when I this, saw it. This was product rage when I saw the trailer. So, I, well, when I saw the trailer, I thought it's going to be a lot of memory work, it's going to be a lot of... Let me read out to you what it says on the, on the side of this box. Mm -hmm. This box is very big. Mark kicked off when this box arrived uh, because, well, I'll let him explain. Let me just read this to you. Yeah, Mark. you read that and I'll explain. Easy to learn, easy to perform, mm -hmm. instant reset, mm -hmm. no sleight of hand, no sticky stuff, Live performance and multiple handlers included with a custom bicycle gimmick deck. That is absolutely true. Virtually, apart from the reset. I, I, I count that as an instant. I count it's pretty quick. picking the cards up and then putting them back in the box as an instant reset. Well, you'd have to break them at a certain place, but yeah, it's not quite like a piece but of But your end with it is spaced out, Mark, so you, can, you just so. cut it, put it in the box. It's an instant reset. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll let you. It's wicked. Uh, it's a good trick. Um, I know how to do it after watching it this morning. Yeah, watch he, it once he's literally it. came in today. Um, but the only thing that I would say is that someone did mention on the Magic Cafe about it not being uh, examinable at the end. But considering the, especially one of the presentations where they split the pack into four and yeah, four, so four, four, let's four explain that journey. You produce a deck of cards. You give, you keep one. You shuffle it while you hand out. While the spectator cuts 
They cut mm. a pile each, they mm. shuffle it, you mix everything, you swap the piles over. Swap all piles around. Uh, so the deck's been shuffled, it's been handed out. Yeah. You give it to the guy, he does what you see in the demo. Which we'll talk about in a minute. And then it's revealed, the, uh, the reveal is that their card that they're thinking of is the only card. No, the one that you say you want them to find is the one that... Yeah, they'll remember it differently. Yeah. But yeah. The, the named card is the only one that's upside down in the, in the deck that's right around. Yeah. The, and what you're thinking, you're thinking, well, that's been around for years and years and years, that is the invisible deck. Mm -hmm. But let me explain how it works. Um, we would, I would show you the deck of cards, I'd fan them in front of you. you. I would say now, you may not know this, but subconsciously you know where every single one of those cards are. Mm -hmm. uh, let's take one for example. Now you could force it in another way, or I could say let's use a card, say the Six of Diamonds. Mm -hmm. uh, you would then take the cards. Mark would then deal the cards face up until he thought that the next card would be the card that we were after. And that way you can see there's no repeats, no yeah, duplicates, everything's different. It's genuine, you know, no misnumbered or... And then when you get the urge, or when you think <laughs> that that's your card, you put that card face down, mm -hmm. drop the rest of the cards on top, and step back. And then they deal the rest face yeah, up to prove right. that the oh, yeah. card isn't there. Or just drop it back on the floor. Um, so then... Oh yeah, then you can put the sorry there. Then you put the deck up there and sure. put them down face up till you get to the face down one, which you put over there. So yeah, there, there, there's the proof that that card is definitely not in there. Mm -hmm. And then there it is. It's yeah. really strong. It is. Uh, not much more to say about it than that. No. Uh, I was a bit annoyed. Well, for one, I thought, oh, you get a DVD by the way, which is unusual nowadays. So you get a DVD. Uh, you get the deck. Uh, it's all ready to go. You get two possible outcomes that you can do your trick yeah, to. Um, most magicians would probably have what they need at home to be able to have more outcomes if they wanted to. If not, you can purchase them uh, with normal. I don't think you need though, because you, you wouldn't do this deck, this trick more than one performance. You might do. You might do it at each table if you could do it at each you table. You could do it at each table. Um, yeah. yeah you so could. you could carry a couple of other things. But around the good thing of it's two is so good that there is the one where they're going to do. But I would do, if I was going to do this at a pay gig, it would be the one of the last things I did as I was leaving. But it's going to be the one where somebody remembers it and calls their friend over and goes, oh, do this. So with, with not much of a move, actually, because we haven't discussed this, but because each deck has two options, without much of a move, if you were putting the, if someone said, can you do that again? You could, say, oh, I don't know. You could do something when you said no, and then repeat it straight away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could go, it wouldn't be too difficult. Oh, okay, go on, we'll do it one more time. Yeah, with, yeah. Uh, so you could actually repeat it if you need a little bit of thought to do that, but not too much. Not, you wouldn't need much thought or much skill. You could do it very naturally. The thing that's almost as good as the routine is the price. Oh, gosh, unbelievable, isn't it? Uh, we think we might have this wrong. It, it's £16.51. At so. the moment, £16. <laughs> at the moment, £16. Which is incredible, £16. considering you get the deck. It, uh, the deck, you've got to use this deck for that. You could use the deck for another trick um, yeah. if, if you wanted to, but it... It is a specially prepared, specially deck. treated deck. Yeah, but, um, um, for uh, for this trick. Uh, but um, so yeah, you do want every card to be in there as well. So you don't want to be doing you cut your ambitious cards and mm. torn and restored, and then be like, oh, yeah. someone can I keep it? Of course you can keep it. Ah, <laughs> oh, you just named the seven hearts. That's a completely different trick because that's not not in there. Um, so yeah, I'd switch well, it out. But... Although you could do an ambitious card with it, so it wouldn't stop you doing no no no. And actually, to remake the deck, if you wanted to, most magicians have got what they need at home to be able yeah. to remake uh, the deck. Uh, so it wouldn't be too difficult if it gets worn out or you, or you did do sign cards. Tutorials really yeah, in depth, good. really good. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. There's a couple of routines on there as well. There are. Oh, there's um, an extra bonus. Oh, there is an extra bonus. Yeah. There's a. Wait, it was a secret. Isn't there? Yeah, we can't tell you what it is because it's a secret. But it's not a bad little giveaway. It's not bad. Um, in fact, it is a secret, but there's so much on this DVD that things really stack up when you watch it. Yeah. So, so they teach you how to make things stack up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you might have to, yeah. Yeah. But anyway, so it's good. Uh, yeah. The actual effect is wicked. It's just as good as you see on the, um, on the trailer. Um, for the price... Yeah, I did mention the cafe thing someone said about examinability. Um, because they've done all the shuffling, no, he's yeah. done all the dealing. No, no. Uh, who's going to want to examine the deck at the end uh, once it's And you end, you're it's in control when you end, it ends here, yeah. uh, so you can just applause cue, yeah. thank the mm. audience for the, oh, thanks for shuffling mm. it, thanks for not dropping any as you put it away. So it isn't examinable at the end, but at the end of the day, they've, it's been that yeah. open it's, free. It's, 
No, but when we talk no, about no, audience no, management, yeah. it's minimal, minimal. You know me one gaff deck that's, that's a gallery one at the end? Yeah, invisible decks, Bengali decks, all that no. kind of thing. You can't examine them all. Loads so. of people use them. Um, so uh, it shouldn't put you off this. Yeah, and if you're really, really bothered, you say, you put it in your pocket, say thank you, say, oh, sorry, did you want to check that? And you just switch it. It's just done. Yeah. Done. Okay, so check it out. All right. Okay, so we've got two, we've camera got two cameras at the minute. That yeah. one down there, you're on yeah. the phone. Uh, this is so we can upload this straight away because we've already had phone calls today from people asking if when we're going to draw it. So we're going to yeah. get it up as soon as possible. So what we've got is one camera that yeah. we've got all the um, background on, and one there's one right a little bit lower, which is going up to Facebook very soon. So it's the prize draw. If you're down here, this looks rubbish. Yeah, if you're on the Facebook thing, this, this it's, looks it, green. It, it's all green, but if you're on the review show... Then it's got videos and stuff. It so. looks good. So, there we go. Inexplicable was our prize for uh, our last prize draw that we've had was. running. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a trick that I created. It's the final answer to the um, worker's billing egg, basically. It looks like this, unless yeah. you're down there. Practical, and then you practical version. Practical version, close-up version. Uh, billing egg. Uh, it really does pack a punch. Uh, any other girl in the video that virtually screams when the egg is produced in fire. Um, I've heard various people say, oh, but it's messy. and It's minimal effort. It takes you minutes to prepare an egg um, to be able to do this. And the payoff, as you can see in the video, you're doing something that's absolutely amazing. Uh, to produce an, an egg in fire, as you do. As you do. Because we all know flash paper enhances any trick. Yep. But to produce an egg, it's like, what? <laughs> and then to put the egg in a bag and break it, and there, no. Uh, so this is really good. Is in there. Yeah, it's, and there's, uh, it's, the eggs, there's a reason for the egg in your routine as well, isn't there? Mm. And I was like, well, that's, well, that's gone wrong. You're never going to have an egg. Oh, oh, we've got an egg. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. But anyway, enough about that. Check out the trailer. Give me a call um, if you've got any other questions on it. We do it in white and brown egg versions. We're going to do the prize draw. We've got a bag full of responses yeah. to this one. <laughs> yeah, more than most of this than figment, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a dig. Because the stage work is like this one as well. Isn't it? Two. I reckon you should do two. You what? I reckon you should do two. Oh, no, go on, I, knew, I knew you weren't going like that. Uh, one. And... I hope they've got a really long name that you can't say. Two. All right, here we go. Ooh, that's just dropped. Uh, we've got. Da, 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 da. Okay, got it open. George Dunn. George Dunn. Well done, George. First winner. Well done, George. They get that a lot, actually. Sorry, and George. And Ken Crilly. Ken Crilly. Yeah, Ken Crilly. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With my writing. All well, my wife's writing. Uh, Ken Crilly, uh, so two winners, George and Ken, uh, get in touch with us uh, via uh, Facebook or email or whatever. Uh, we need to know whether you'd like a white or a brown egg version, basically if you're in the US or you can even get white eggs in the UK. But, yeah. Uh, so basically the inexplicable, you get four different shades of white or you get four different shades of uh, brown, brown on the gimmicks. So the eggs are really quick to give me up because they knew as damn it match the different colours on the of eggs that are available. Um, but uh, yeah, thanks for uh, taking part in the prize draw. And thanks for entering. Our next one will be uh, on very soon. Oh, mm. yeah, all right. When's it going to be this time? We'll see. Right. So last up of no, the um, review items today is Lucky Card by Costa Fantastico. Great name, great packaging, sensible packaging. This is something that I saw and I was actually seen this. Mm -hmm. um, I liked the idea, but I didn't think it was going to be able to live up to it, and I was wrong, absolutely wrong. This has been in my act for two weeks now, maybe a week and a half. Can't remember where, but it was midweek, a week and a half ago. Yep. Um, I've honestly performed it twice a day, every day. It's uh, the idea is it's a folded card is um, paper clipped to a non-folded card and held out in plain view the whole time, and then as another card is signed, lost in the deck, banished, do whatever you want, and then your lucky card, which is the one that's been in full view when you slide it off, is their signed card. That's the basic routine. I do a slightly different one where it's um, they draw a picture and I have already drawn a picture, it's, mm -hmm. and then it's actually the same picture. Um, Really, really, really well made. It's ready made, ready, ready to made. go. Yeah, ready to go out the packet. It's um, a difficulty level. It's it's got a move in there that you need to be able to do to fold a card up into quarters. 
Um, yeah. Which they teach you how to do. It's and not, it's, it's not a hard move, it's just one that needs a little bit of practice. Yeah, but unlike some routines where you need to do this move, this one doesn't need to be perfect under no. any circumstances. And we have products that help you do it. Yeah, the perfect score. Perfect is, score. Uh, you, can, John, you can do your whole deck with the perfect score and still use it so. virtually normally, and any card they pick can then be uh, folded up perfectly. If you like the idea of a configuration. Mystery, mystery box routine um, or an open prediction routine, but don't want to have a strange looking box clear with box with you the whole time, this is perfect. It's just a card with another card paper clip to it, which is really um, organic. Organic is the yeah. word I'm looking for, which suits my style quite well. So, there is Jay Sankey's paper clip that was out years ago, actually, yeah, uh, that use, uses um, it's not quite the same principle, it did have a paper clip on, um, but you are having to go to your pocket very quickly when, yeah, when you this do is, the this thing. Is, there's one moment with this, with the way it's designed, where you have got the, the card you need is in the place that you need it, but you are holding out basically one card with a pit. It's so clever, you're so far ahead. And it's so visual as well, because the card vanishes as you pull it off. And you don't have to run to your pocket straight away. Yeah. And it's now this tipping out, mm -hmm. and it's... Um, once, once you've got it, once you've pulled that card off the top, and it's become the spectator's card, that can just go there. It can stay out, and then you hand it over before you tidy it up. Or you can just casually put that away. Yeah, you, you don't uh, need, well, you don't there's, need to do There's no mad rush, there's no mad no, you don't need to away. scoop it or anything like um, that. So really, really impressed. It's or even with some of these boxes, when you tip out, you give the spectator the card, and then very quickly you put yeah, it away. Yeah, put the box away. You don't want to look at the yeah, box. There's, there's none of that. Um, um, Really good. And you've got no one saying, well, let me have a look at that box, because there isn't a box. There is a box, no. And what are they going to say? Let me have a look at that card. What do we want to look at a card for? Yeah, they won't. <laughs> I mean, their card's just transformed from the pack they were shuffling to over yeah. there, where it's been in full view. That's the last thing they're going to think of. Yeah. The only downside I've got for this is the paperclip that they give you, which enables you to do it straight away, is um, rugged. And I think that might damage the gimmick if you continually use it. So I would just swap it for a plastic coated one. Yeah, I did notice at the end of the paper, because the way paper clips are cut, it drags on the card. Yeah, so that's the it. only bit. You could always just get a little bit of pliers and tweak it up just a bit. Yeah, and so, you know so what, they're, they're, probably, the they're, they're probably going to last for a long, long time. Yeah. Um, really, really well made. Packaging's perfect. We can send that away. It's free posting on everything. Yeah, now, we're doing so. free postage now on absolutely but. everything at Sat Magic. Uh, you can pay for an upgrade to first get class or next day delivery or whatever. Yeah. Uh, but to be honest, even second class post, because we do business post, our post isn't going in the mailbox. No. So it's missing a, a massive chunk, a big chunk of the post process out. So even our second class gets there pretty quick. Uh, most of the time it does get there next day. Uh, but that's not guaranteed. You know, the post office, I think they quote up to 10 working days for a letter before it's classed as lost because uh, occasionally things go wrong but most of the time uh, our stuff's getting there within one or two days and under normal post yeah the other good thing about this is not only is it ready to go the dvd the the download. Sorry, the, download. The, the explanation is really short and hits you hard mm -hmm. you're like oh i can do that that's good yeah. uh, the only thing that makes it a complete package is it's under 20 pounds yeah it's only 17.99 um good and value then, they are, are they all red? Do we have red and blue or are they all red? They're all red. I'm going to say they're all red. Yeah, yeah. So it's a blue card you get, but the gimmick on the card is red. Yeah, so, so you, so you, you use it with a red, red working deck. Yeah. yeah. Because when I got it out of the packet, I was like, well, that's wrong. Oh, no, no, it's fine. Um, so, oh, yeah. I nearly fell for that as well. I really <laughs> rang up and said, you sent me blue one. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah we're really impressed. Um, and honestly, you've been working that to, uh, mm -hmm. twice a day. Okay, and uh, finally, before we sign off today, one more thing to mention is the Leamington Day Leamington of Magic. Day of Magic, where you can come and see all of this. Yeah, I'm, so, I'm currently the president, believe it or not, of the Leamington and Warwick Magic Society. Uh, and we put this day on he's got big every year. And uh, it's now slightly more than one day long. On the evening of the 14th, we have a dealer dem from Adrian Sullivan, which is, uh, Adrian's a great magician, and he's going to do a dealer dem stroke lecture uh, for us on the Tuesday evening. And uh, then the following day on the 14th, we've got four lectures. We've got uh, Steve Rowe, the show, Steve Rowe, Kieran, Kieran. Johnson. Uh, then we've also got Andy Gladwin oh, yeah. uh, doing a lecture. And we've got Gordon Drayson, uh, who recently this year won the Blackpool Chums Entertainment Competition. So great lecture line of over 20 dealers. And food, loads of food. You get breakfast, you get lunch, and you get an evening dinner. All included in the price. And so you can go to a convention over one and a half days, see a lecture stroke dealer four lectures, well, have lectures, have breakfast, lunch, and something in the evening to eat. 
20 dealers and see us. And meet me. For, yeah. believe it or not, £25. Yeah, and we're going to be doing some massive <clears> Which must be the best value in um, I reckon so. lectures anywhere. I reckon so. I'm not aware of any convention. The good thing about Leamington is it's in the Midlands, which means it doesn't matter where you travel from. It's easy to get to, a few hours you there. Yeah. So, uh, so check that out on the Leamington website. Their website is magicsociety.co.uk. And uh, just click on where it says Dad Magic in order to ticket. So hopefully see you there. Cool. So that's it for another show. That's it. Thanks for watching. Thank you.